You're watching Fox 17 News at 9. Well, it's one of the most stressful jobs on the planet, but tonight the doctors and nurses in Vanderbilt's emergency room are feeling calmer. As Fox 17's John Dunn reports, they're improving the mood and the smell at the same time. There's no denying hospitals have a certain odor. It makes you feel bad, it makes you feel sad, it brings back bad memories. Kind of got a death smell to it, I guess. I'd say a funeral home. But inside Vanderbilt's emergency room. People say it smells like dreamsicles. I've heard margarita. The hospital smell has disappeared. This diffuser is right now diffusing lime. Scattered around are several essential oil diffusers, dispensing a therapeutic yeah, scent throughout the ER. It's very pleasant, fresh, clean. The ER's wellness committee decided to test the oils to not only improve the smell, but also the workplace. We wanted oils that would help decrease stress and increase energy. The results are dramatic. According to their survey of more than 100 ER staff members, before the oils, 41% of them said they were stressed out at work. After the oils, only 3% were stressed. Prior to aromatherapy, 60% of ER staff members were frustrated at work. After a little oil, 6% felt frustrated. The results were phenomenal, just the before and after. At first, there were plenty of skeptics, not believing a drop here and a drop there could really make a difference. Some people, I included, at first thought it was like voodoo medicine, like it's never going to work. Now, nurses like Anna Malogic are using them at home. And it really, it really is amazing. Vanderbilt's ER may be the only one in the country diffusing essential oils. And supporters say if it's working for staff, it could also help patients. Not make it as a medical treatment, but a complementary therapy for the patients. There are many people who will tell you what a hospital is supposed to smell like. It's not pine saw, but it has a, a smell. In Vanderbilt's emergency room, it's wild orange, lime, lemon, and citrus bliss. I love anything that we do for our staff to make them better because the better that we make our staff, the better our patients are going to be. A change that definitely passes the smell test. John Dunn, Fox 17 News. And get this, 84% of the nurses and doctors inside Vanderbilt's emergency room strongly agree that the oils contribute to a more positive work environment. The Wellness Committee plans to publish their results, highlighting their success. So if you're wondering how those essential oils work, when the oils are diffused into the air, the aromatic molecules are inhaled. They interact with the body's olfactory nerves and the limbic system. The limbic system is directly connected to parts of the brain that control heart rate, blood pressure, breathing, memory, stress levels, and other emotions. Scents have a powerful effect, much like the smell of freshly baked cookies reminding someone of their grandmother. Remind you of your grandmother. The smell of freshly baked cookies and that, brownies. I'm a that, big fan that of brownies. It for you. <laughs> <laughs> that does it for you. Mine is probably chocolate cakes and uh, oh, yeah. banana puddings. My grandma is just A plus. It's it's homey. You gotta love it. <laughs>